What we are watching here in the eastern Pacific is an amazing storm. This is Hurricane Rick. The winds were up to 180 miles an hour. Now, the strongest storm on record in the eastern Pacific was Linda. That occurred in 1997, which was, by the way, an El Nino year, as is this. And that storm had winds of 185 miles an hour. So this was very nearly the strongest storm on record in the eastern Pacific. Now, it's an incomplete record because they don't fly into storms as much here in the eastern Pacific. They haven't been keeping as much of a record as they have in the Atlantic Basin, but still, that's something. 180 mile an hour storm just a few hours ago. It's now 175, still a very, very intense Category 5 hurricane moving towards the west northwest at about 14 miles an hour. Well offshore at this point, but already the surf is reaching the coast in Mexico, and we're going to see a lot more of that in the next couple of days. There's the visible satellite imagery. We've got a little bit of a cutoff here because you can see that it's a very well formed storm. Circulation right in here, obviously. Then you've got that outflow in all quadrants, and it's probably peaking right now, so it's probably only going to get weaker from here on out, but it's still going to be a formidable storm, and it's most likely going to make its way up towards the Baja in a few days, and it could come very close to Cabo San, Cabo San Lucas, unfortunately. Maximum wave heights here are going to be way up there, probably about 10 to 15 feet in Acapulco, and then about 15 to 20 as you get up towards Puerto Vallarta and Manzanillo and getting into Zihuatanejo as well, and then 10 to 15 early on in the southern part of the Baja, but then later as the storm approaches, they're going to get up to about 25 feet or so. So there could be some extremely high surf there in a lot of these tourist areas. And we think the storm is going to make a turn, move more towards the north and then towards the northeast and again make its way towards the southern end of the Baja Peninsula. It may bypass it off towards the east here. Already there is some weakening on the west side of the system, so most of the action is going to be on the right side of the system. But it still could be a very strong hurricane as it makes its way on up.